Star Wars, The Obsidian Order, Part 2. The ship landed on the platform and three figures emerged. No, Poe. I don't want to hear anything more about Lord Regis and his clone army. It seems we're always beset by ruddy clones. These ones are merciless, said Poe. The inhibited ship now used prevents them from showing any mercy, any human emotion whatsoever. They are cold, hard killers. At the Battle of Sargon, our forces were cruelly treated by Regis clones, and he has such growing power in the center that if we don't do something about it now... Ray put up her hand. Silence, Poe Damron. Lord Regis will be dealt with momentarily. Special interest groups, they rule the Senate now, said Finn. This we know, said Ray Skywalker. The issues at hand are within the domain of Jedi Council to resolve. It's hardly doing a good job, said Poe. On the border worlds, more and more do they turn not only to the Empire, but to Lord Regis and other dissidents. The galaxy is getting more and more difficult to control. Whatever is going on in the mind of the Force, the Jedi Council needs to improve so much more to keep a handle on things. Which we are doing, replied Ray, frustrated. Now sit quietly with me. The Senate is about to begin. They had entered the Senate, and the chairperson of the Senate was about to begin. Senators, rulers, kings and queens, greetings to this meeting of the Senate. We have affairs to discuss, as we usually do. Records will be made, and formal discussion groups formed hereafter for the resolution of Senate affairs raised. I would begin by inviting a word from the Governor of New Coruscant. The Governor of Coruscant stood in his box. People, these are difficult times. The Senate represents a galaxy, and the galaxy is represented by the Senate. This is how we conduct affairs, and despite past interruptions in Coruscant society, how we once more do so. The Senate has a mission for the uniting of the star systems and federations of our galaxy to come together in an ambient spirit, an amiable spirit, and work out our differences. Few want to desire conflict. Most want the happy business of life and commercial activity for the furtherances of our people's endeavours in galactic affairs. But to maintain that way of life and prosperity we all desire, sometimes decisions have to be made. Galactic trade in the inner star systems is alive and well. Nay, it has never been more prosperous times. Despite all our differences, much has been achieved. But in the outer systems, territorial conflicts go on unabated, and those of the Rebel Alliance continue their engagement with those of our Empire Builders. Such has long been the case amongst the powers which be, and what the peoples have chosen to support. But new powers emerge at times, and what has always been is not necessarily what will always be so. Times change. People move on. The governor stopped and speaking for a moment. Like I said, said Finn, special interest groups. More and more they are, they are emerging. Nobody wants what has been done before. They don't think it worked, Ray. They don't think it worked. The governor resumed. So, as the times change, the Senate must change along with it. Our purposes of galactic harmony, peace and prosperity do not change. For every ultimate ideals we all strive for. But new powers wish to demonstrate to all of us our own self-worth their own self-worth, and what they feel they can contribute to this mystery of a galactic way of life. The governor sat and focused returned to the chairperson. Ambassador Theron from Sargon would speak. The ambassador stood. Senators, recently Sargon has been beset by the wrath of Lord Regis. The ambassador glared across the chamber at Lord Regis, who just smiled back. His unjustified attack on our sovereignty must be responded to, more so than the pittance of a fleet sent by the Rebel Alliance. He is nothing but an old icon of the old way, caught up in yesteryear's clone technology and using simple but brutal tactics to gain power. He is nothing but the warmonger, as simple as that, and he must be stopped. Lord Regis would respond, queried the chairperson. Lord Regis stood. Poppycock and nonsense. The Federation of Regalia is the peaceful federation. We have been since its foundation, but we are opposed by madmen and zealots who disavow our sacred way of life. Sargon has insulted us time and time again in the Senate and in galactic affairs. We were simply exercising righteous judgment and teaching him a lesson about respect. With countless crew and troopers inviting our planet and causing havoc in us under everywhere, retorted Ambassador Ferron. Please, Ambassador, said the chairperson, let Lord Regis speak. Lord Regis resumed. 
As I said, we are a peaceful federation. It is our nature. As we grow in strength, people are seeing the wisdom and way of life we offer them, and the security we can guarantee. Security which neither the Rebel Alliance or the Empire seems to be able to afford them. Lord Ridges said, the, Je the Jedi Council would like to speak, said the chairperson. Ray stood. I bring the Senate's attention to matters on Navgiad. The recent conflict taking place there. Nothing of grave consequence for a border dispute. Our adversaries in the Empire see it as a business to relentlessly press some claim that they should naturally be the power that be. There were chuckles from the Senate. All bitter enemies firing shots at each other as far as they were concerned. But there is something more of a concern than that, continued Ray. It is chiefly an issue for the Jedi to resolve themselves, but a new order of Jedi has emerged, naming themselves the Illuvia. There was hush silence around the Senate as people chatted about that issue. I put this on notice for the Senate to keep in mind. We of the Jedi Council do not have completely firm knowledge of this issue as of yet. It is being looked into, and as we speak, I would not have a Senate misinformed on the issue. The representative of the Empire, General Balcor, stood. Keep your ragtag army intact, Palpatine. It's hardly an enemy, enemy worth combating anymore. Chuckles again from the Senate. Ray sat, and the affairs of the Senate continued. Is that it? queried Poe. We will resume Senate discussions another day, said Ray, standing. She looked at them. Go home. Get some sleep. The world will turn regardless. Poe sighed, and as they left, Ray looked back to the Senate. Indeed, she thought to herself, galactic life would go on regardless.